So I'm going to do a demonstration of how we do a maximal isometric test using the isochain to test, in this case, an overhead press. Okay? Um, and so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to spend 10 seconds ramping up gradually to a moderately hard effort and then the final 10 seconds pressing as hard as I possibly can. Um, of course, with this exercise, you have to be cautious, or this test rather, you have to be cautious about not overextending the spine and turning it into a bench press, but keeping the spine braced and the head fairly neutral and the shoulders back, okay? Then after that, I'm going to do a time static contraction workout in the same exercise. So I'll find a benchmark of strength, okay? Um, and then I'm going to regress the exercise to um, a low target based on, let's say, 80% of that uh, peak force output. And then what I'll do is I'll set the chain, the device, to give me a audible feedback when I hit the low target. And so if, for example, if my peak force is 100 pounds and I set it to 80 pounds, for the first 30 seconds of the isometric workout after the test, I'll aim for somewhere between 30 and 60 pounds. And then for the last 20 seconds or so, I'll try to exceed the 80 pound target for as long as I can, and I'll get audible feedback as to how long I'm doing that for. So first, the isometric test. So I have it just above my head with my elbows at 90 degrees. And I'm going to begin with a 10 second ramp up. And then the sprint. And then we can see what my peak force was, although you might see in reverse. 112 pounds in that test, okay? Now I'm going to go into load mode and I'm going to set the weight for, in this case, we'll say 80 pounds. Okay. And I'm gonna sustain that tension or moderately high tension for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna to try to beat that tension, that, that load target for, the, for as long as I can at the end of the test. Put this here. Okay. So it's moderate effort. I'm just holding, and I may not even be able to beat it at the end, we'll see. Really feel this at this joint angle, particularly in the serratus, more than anything else. Okay. And now we're going to see if I can get that audible feedback by pressing hard enough. There it is. seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. So um, that's a way that you can use this device, this isochain device, to do uh, a time static contraction where you actually have an objective benchmark of force output. Normally you're relying simply on um, your own internal judgment of how hard you're pushing in order to get um, a sufficient training effect. You just have to know, yes, I pushed as hard as I can. But here I have something objective, which is that at the very end, I know that I was able to produce 80 pounds of force for, let's say, 15 seconds. And I can look at the video later to confirm that. Now, with a trainer present, they could be watching the readout on the dial to know that I was producing sufficient force in stages. So they could keep me at 40 pounds for the first 30 seconds, and then 60 pounds for 15 seconds, and then 80 pounds for the last 5 to 10 seconds. And that makes it a much more objective tool um, and an objective part of your training.